Our um, tip of the week this week is using objects for interior finishes. And I just want to go through a couple things here that I think can also be helpful to you guys. Uh, one of the things that I, I always want to point out is that there are a lot of ARCHICAD objects in ARCHICAD that can do many, many things. So before you start creating custom objects and custom elements, sometimes it's good to look through and say, okay, is there a specialty column, for example, that I can use here? There are specialty columns in ARCHICAD that have variety of parameters that are available to you. There's finished carpentry, carpentry and wall extras as well um, as other types of options in ARCHICAD where, as I showed you earlier, um, yes, I could create my own custom profile uh, to use. I could also um, create, use the add the uh, add-on, but I can also go to my object settings and select um, a rough carpentry um, uh, molding for curved as well as straight elements, and those are also available here. Um, so you know you may want to check that first before you start creating lots of custom elements. And at the same time, you know, there's there's other options I can use for, um, as this shows, for doing an architrave uh, type setting for different uh, options you may want to use for a wall. Now, if you have not used BIMcomponents.com, I would also highly recommend you start taking a look at this for a couple of reasons. First, there are users that do create different types of interior finishes that you can use. Um, in this case, it's this kind of a, a, a pattern, right, um, that you can download um, in ARCHICAD, basically BIMcomponents.com, search for that, um, and then bring it up. And then to bring it into ARCHICAD, um, you can um, um, uh, download that I'll show you in a second, uh, or you can bring it directly into ARCHICAD using um, uh, the ARCHICAD interface. But the other reason I, I want to point this out is that BIMobjects.com uh, if you're not familiar with this, is a um, is a is a, a service out there that was created by a bunch of people that came out of Graphisoft, um, but it supports both ARCHICAD and Revit objects. So it's grown a lot. It's now the largest resource in the world for manufacturer objects, and as a result, they actually have a lot of uh, objects available now for a variety of purposes, and so. You know, as this example shows, if I go and I search for, uh, it's just search for environment um, here, and you can see some different things that came up for that, but you can search for more specific things. But you can see here a baffle ceiling is a good example. Um, this baffle ceiling is available. It's available inside of ARCHICAD, and you can bring that in to use as a baffle ceiling. And this is a manufacturer type object. And as I mentioned, more and more manufacturers, both US as well as European and international, um, are available. Uh, BIM Objects actually acquired recently um, the Seek library from Autodesk that was built to um, basically on Revit, right, or AutoCAD uh, library parts and objects. Um, and so it contains a lot of that. Um, and as a result, that's basically made BIM Objects to be even more uh, US centric now. And they're starting to acquire more manufacturers as well, both internationally as well as, as in the U.S. And because they're both uh, ARCHICAD, because they first started with ARCHICAD, um, they tend to build out ARCHICAD objects for a lot of these objects that are also for Revit. So as a good example, this baffle ceiling, you can see it's available for Revit. Uh, it's available for AutoCAD. And it's also available for ARCHICAD. And so... You can basically download these, these objects directly from by going to the web page uh, on uh, uh, bimobjects.com or on bimcomponents.com, search for those objects, and then download the ARCHICAD object. You can also download it from internally inside of ARCHICAD. So this is really important to remember because as an example, I could go and search for... Um, uh, a ceiling editor, you know, uh, as this, you know, for a ceiling, uh, two by two ceiling uh, editor for uh, doing ceiling grids and, and, and tile patterns. And this is a good one. It's actually a ceiling editor for the U.S., uh, which I can download and embed and, and use this, right? Um, this comes directly by simply searching inside of ARCHICAD. But one thing to really uh, remember, and this is important, 
And this is why, you know, it does not support BIM object. Okay, so if I go and I search for ceiling, you'll see nothing in here um, that has the BIM object option. So you'll see these little icons here. It looks like a little globe. That means it's available from BIMcomponents.com. If it doesn't have that, that means it's, these objects are internal to your load, loaded libraries and ARCHICAD local to your um, computer or your network. But if you see a little icon, that means it's loading it as library parts from the web. And you can actually turn by clicking this little button right here, okay, little socket icon. You can actually uh, check to have it search on BIMcomponents.com, or you can turn that off if you don't want it to search over the web for online objects. And that will actually speed up your searching uh, as well, if it's only searching locally versus also searching on the web. But really, really important. Um, I would actually, if, if I want to actually go and see what's available beyond what's just user objects or ARCHICAD um, supported objects that are created by Graphsoft, I should say, I would probably go to the website, uh, to bimcomponents.com, and search there because then you're going to see all the other objects available through BIM object. And um, I think that will really help you as you want to expand your object library for objects in ARCHICAD. Now that said, there are also other resources out there. If you've not uh, gotten into this yet, um, there's Trimble 3D Warehouse, uh, which has SKP objects, sketch objects, which of course you could bring in ARCHICAD uh, and use. One thing to remember is that you know those objects are, oops, excuse me, those objects can be messy sometimes. Uh, when you bring them in, meaning that the uh, 2D version of that, uh, the, the, the plan view uh, can have a really messy uh, uh, vector looking um, uh, icon. Um, and it can also have a lot of uh, vector information in it. Uh, there is a, a, a add-on called Monoport, uh, which will allow you to bring in additional um, uh, formats, FBX, OBJ, 3DS, and DEA. Uh, SKP objects can also be converted into one of these formats. And this allows you, when it, you bring it in, to make the objects um, uh, more editable, meaning that you can, um, they'll first off, they'll make the 2D representation look cleaner. And it'll also allow you to edit the colors and materials of the object when it comes in, which SKP objects do not allow you to do. So just another option for you if you want to use that as well. And finally, you can also create custom objects. Uh, this is a, obviously, we're not going to go into detail on this today, but to do that, you create your objects generally in your 2D floor plan view. Uh, once you create that, you save that as an object by simply selecting the object, doing your file menu, uh, libraries and objects, save selection as an object. And then you save that object, and then that you can then start placing those objects into your project. What's nice now is that those objects can save not only as a uh, as just a general object, but in this case, if it was for stairs or railings, I can now save those as a stair tread, as a railing panel, uh, railing post, uh, stair riser. So basically, you can get to a lot more detail with that as well. And we'll be covering some of those other elements uh, in later parts of this. Okay. That is our tip.